What a difference from two weeks ago. Protesters arrived here just about one o'clock and were finished about three hours later. And they were met by police officers with hugs and given an opportunity to air their grievances. <laughs> Hundreds of motorcycle riders started an afternoon protest at Oak Park. We just wanted to get together and show the support that we can go get together on a ride and support the cause um, of what's going on in La Mesa. It was a diverse group from across the county with a message of unity. And this is 2020. It's been going on long enough. And it's time that we as a people come together. And as you see, we're united now to take a stand and say enough is enough. They rode together more than six miles to La Mesa police to join a second unity protest. Last month, video showed an officer pushing Amari Johnson into a seated position and then arresting him at the Grossmont Trolley Center. Then two weeks ago during a protest, Leslie Furcron was seriously injured after she was hit in the head with a beanbag projectile. Organizers say they want officers in both incidents fired and for the city council to hold a town hall to listen and act on demands from the community. La Mesa police took a noticeably different approach to this protest. Officers were out front without riot gear. The chief and other high ranking officers shook hands and hugged participants, even listening to questions and concerns. You're welcome. Yeah. While they acknowledge the frustration and anger, they will not discipline the officers until an independent investigation is completed. At that point, the investigation is back in my hands, and then I'll have to make some decisions and rendering some decisions after I review it. So I understand, but it is a process. Um, it's due process. The police chief tells us he expects the report from the independent investigators will get completed in early July, and then he will have an opportunity to review it and take whatever action he feels is necessary.